I don't even think I can stand how cute these butterfly tickets and tags turned out. So these are part of my freebie library. I'll put a link below to the um, library. And there are, so I love this one. I like a dark tag. So I love these guys. Um, and I say it like I didn't make them. I was like, I would need a teal butterfly. So we did a teal butterfly. I thought this one was really pretty with the contrast of the magenta. Um, and then I thought we should have some purple ones. And then I do love teal, a little bit more magenta, some yellow. And I thought a bunch of these could go together. So I am going to cut these out and then I'll be back and we'll make some journal pages. All right, so I got these all cut out. And I kind of feel like they turned out even prettier when they were cut out. So these are from magazines. Let's get those to the side. Look at these. This is just stunning. So pretty. Okay, so we need to figure out what we're gonna do with them in my black journal. Let's pick which, what we're going to do with them. So this is done. This both sides is done. So we could possibly put one on here. That looks kind of like the right colors, huh? Gosh darn it. This is a truly professional operation. All right, so let's keep this in mind. Uh, this one, oh, we could... Can we do a flip out, flip out? No, that's a lot to flip out because we already have the brads on this one, right? So if we did a flip out, flip out, that's that's a lot for one page to manage. But maybe we could do, oh look, we got this. So we could do something pretty in purple here. And we have a, we could do a pull out if we wanted to. I kind of want to do that. We could do a pull out of this tag. It's a little long still. We could put a, oh, let's do that. Okay, so we are gonna do this one, this one, and this one. Okie dokie, and this is gonna be a super fat journal. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, oh, I don't need this. Do we wanna do a green one instead so we could do a couple different colors? Because we could put this tag in here, let's do that. Oh, and this one has a brad in it, so it would be hard to pull out any. Oh, look at those volunteers helping us. Okay, what's on the back of this? Okay, so we have a couple different sides we could work with. This one we just need to um, make a um, tuck spot. So it's an envelope, right? But I don't want to have the flap. I want to be able to just pull this right out. And maybe we'll use one of those butterfly tags as a tab for that. This is the best tape, honestly, because you can just rip it with your hands. I had some double-sided tape before that you had to um, use scissors with, and it was just the biggest pain in the butt, right? So when you can rip it with your hands is when it is fabulous. Okay, here we go. And I just want to close up this flap. We're not going to make a hole in this envelope or anything like that. It's just going to be a, a secret tuck spot. This is a very jingly project. We got tuck spots. We got flaps. We got tabs. We got a little bit of everything. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay. All right. So let's do this. And then we just have to cut off a teeny bit of this envelope to make it an opening. We're just going to go right across the top of this. And it's a little bit thick because that's that, it's not, um, it's a die. So this is just ugh, layers and layers of paper. So there, see, now we have a tuck spot. Envelopes are so cool. All right, so this is the one, and I have a secret surprise for you, but I can't tell you. Okay, so this is gonna go in here. Ooh, I can tell we need, let's just tear that off. So this is gonna go in here. Let's just make sure it fits. 
Oh, tear that off too. All right, perfect. So we have a couple sides we could work with. Oh, I feel like this whole thing is coming off. Let's do a bit of glue. Boop, boop, boop. I think it's because it's the wax paper and I used it with Mod Podge. And sometimes the wax paper, I think, is just a little bit too delicate for the Mod Podge. Is that coming up? Yep. Let's just glue down that corner. It was pretty stuck. No bother. Okay. There we go. So now let's pick, I think that's beautiful there. Oh, I kind of like it better down here. What about you? You like it there? I like it there. We should have another one the same size. Let's see what this one looks like on this side. I don't love that one on that side. And that's okay, because if, if we don't have another one that same size to use on the back, we have a number of different options. So we could put a, put this, ooh, ooh, look at that. Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the, stick this ticket to the back of this tag and then cut it out that way. And then we'll have a beautiful butterfly for our tab. And I don't want the tab to come out that far. We're gonna have it come out about yay far, but we wanna wait one second this is why we can't have nice things because we cut our, use our scissors to cut paper that has glue on it. Okay. All right. So this is going to be like thus. We want a little, a little bit of it to stick out. So now there's a pretty butterfly on that side. I don't know that I'm working on that side today. I think we have plenty to do without that. So this is what we're working on. I gotta take this Christmas tag off and we'll do three panels. All right, got that there. Let's see, what do we wanna, let's look at our beautiful, ooh, that looks like that could go on there. I'm almost thinking I'm gonna cut out this part, leave this butterfly. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut across, I'll show you when I come back. I always want to show you. Then I'm like, I will just show you when I get back. Okay, this one looks like it goes with these guys. Let's just sort things out. Let's sort things out. Okay, so with this one, I kind of wanted to, I can't really do it. I'll do it with the bees. I want to make a, I want to make a tag flip out, but that's a little bit much for this. We already got a pull out. Okay, so we have, that's a super, I, I, I know I keep saying this, but I just think this is the prettiest set. Even though I made it. This seems like this goes with this. Maybe then this goes with this. That's a gorgeous one. Hmm. I might have to stay for another day. This I feel like could go there. That goes here. I'm gonna keep, oh, this guy I feel like could go here. Or do we want a little bit of contrast with this one? No, that's too, that's too much. Ooh, we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Then we have a few different sizes. And then we could always use tickets. Okay, I am going to do some cutting out and I will be back. So I did some cutting last night and we're gonna put together some of these butterflies. Okay, so I love how this turned out. I'm gonna put him right here and I'm gonna put her right here, okay? And then we're gonna figure out what's going on. But I wanna be careful because I think I want to make her like a little tag pocket. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I do want to grab my uh, Tim Holtz Vintage Archivals. And I want to use, I just love um, Vintage Photo. 
And I have a big one of vintage photo because I use it a lot, but I just want to darken up this edge. I know a lot of girls darken up all the edges. I don't tend to do that, but I did want to knock down a little bit of that. And then I think I even want a tiny bit darker. If you don't want weird dye on your papers, don't do this on your papers. <laughs> um, Okay, I am going to, I'm going to glue this very well on the bottom, on the sides, and leave the middle open. So I'm going to do two rows of glue, two rows of glue, and then this is going to be a shocker to you. I'm actually going to let it dry because I want this to be able to manage itself. All right, and glue works by touching it, pushing it down and by um, letting it dry, to be honest with you. And I don't always remember to push it down, and I am the worst at letting it dry, but we have three tags to work on, so we'll be fine. We all will be well. And you know I am gonna be embossing the crap out of this one. Okay, so I have something that's, see I have brads that are pushing that down, so you just gotta be careful that you get contact with your glue. Okay, we're gonna put that to the side for a wee minute. Next. Ooh, let's put her things with her though. We're gonna put those over there. All right, this one's fun. I feel like my stuff is closing in on me. Okay, so for this one, we have this fun butterfly for over here. And see, all I did was I cut off the tag and then this is straight. This, this was the top corner of the tag but don't worry never fear do I want to darken these edges I do not want to darken these edges I'm just going to stick her down I don't want everything to be the same and dark and broody and things like that don't get all excited I'm not talking about light and bright I'm just talking about not quite so dark and broody in my black journal right Let's not get too fired up over here. I'll probably be using more black. Okay, so there she is. Now, don't forget, see? You were worried, and we have this tag that's going over there, and it will be perfect. So now, I don't want um, brown. I want black. And this is the reason I love this bathtub is because if I didn't have it, I would um, use the brown and then there would be hints of brown, but this is my black and gray. So there are no hints anywhere on this brush of brown. And I'm just gonna go right around this edge and give it a little bit of a zhuzh just to give it some cuteness. And I want that to be black, not brown, because this butterfly is all black. And she's going to be a tag that sticks out. Okay, before we do that, let's um, let's make this easier for ourselves and put a hole in her because I will probably have something sticking out, a ribbon or something like that. And it's so much easier to make a hole before you stick it onto a a page. I'm gonna put a grommet in there too. I just happen to have a whole bunch of grommet. Okay, I have a grommet issue. I don't think you guys should judge, but I have lots of grommets. And we're gonna do like kind of a brass grommet on her. Did I make a little hole? I don't think I made a little hole, but it'll go through, not to worry. Oh, and we had this butterfly on the back. That's okay. She is just there to look cute. All right, so the way you do grommets is like this, or how I do grommets, I don't think it's right. I put the grommet in there. I put a hole in here so at least it has a starter. I bump that up, and then I squish it. See, grommet. All right, I kinda wanna cover up, okay, I think I wanna go right there, cause I kinda wanna cover up those faces. And we have this ticket. Okay, so we're gonna do this. 
And this is gonna be another one. I'm gonna glue it pretty good, and then I'm gonna leave it to the side because I need this to stick down well. Look at me being patient today. I'm feeling kind of uh, special with my patience. Okay, glue, glue, glue. See, we fixed that problem over there. That's fine. Let's put this over here. I'm getting all ballsy and saying how cool I am. I just put that on a web page. Oh, well. Okay. Last but not least, we have this. And this is kind of not quite ready for prime time, right? Um, so, I feel like I almost want these guys to be the star of the show. Like, actually do a tag one. Because they're so pretty. Do we want to do that? Oh, we could stick this out the top. Yep, we could stick this out the top and make a tag on the top and have these guys over here like that. Yes. And then emboss the snot out of them. <laughs> That's my favorite part. So I have some cool ones. I have brushed corduroy, I have frayed burlap, and then I'm going to put a hint of bundled sage in here just to give us a fun background. That is probably enough paint for the whole thing. I probably went a little overboard on that paint. You can wet emboss or distress paint. Boop, boop, boop. And I don't need this to be perfect because we're going to do stuff in the back. So I'm just putting that, I think it's the corduroy that I blooped out. I'm just going to kind of Put that all over-ish. And Distress Paint is not good at um, mixing. So if you put this brown and that brown together, you think you would get brown, but you get kind of a model -y thing, you're gonna love it. It's kind of cool how it does it. It doesn't, um, it doesn't mix. Like if you mix purple and blue distress paint it doesn't make like violet entirely sometimes it does okay um okay good that is going to be fine for this and then let's keep out let's keep out this one and let's do real quick while we're here let's do some spots All right, so we're just going to get a little paint over here. And if you go across your stencil like that, you're going to have darker ridges on the edge that you're pulling against. And I like that. I figured that out after I did something. And this is not going to be perfect circles for me. I just want some texture back here and there's too much paint. I'm not trying to make a masterpiece. I'm just trying to make a background. Perfect. And then I can doodle those circles later if I feel like. And I could have dried it and done it with the um, distress and Well, let's do that. That was not gonna dry anytime soon. So we're back to this one. Okay. Oh, we had one, oh, we do. We have one more cute little thing. So a little ticket. I feel like if I'm going to have a ticket in there, I need to put a grommet and um, uh, like a ribbon or something on here. Maybe I don't need a grommet, but I do need a little piece of ribbon so I don't... I get my ribbons at the dollar store. Nope, I lied. I get my ribbons at the thrift store for like 29 cents each usually. So, you know how to do a ribbon. We're gonna do this. Oh, there's a front and a back way. I think we go back to front. Let's try that first. I don't have my granny glasses. This isn't that hard to do, I promise. It's just I don't have my granny glasses. So we'll try back to front first and then we'll see if it's really front to back. Okay, 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 okay. It's back to front, I did it right. Okay, there we go. So that's super cute. And then a lot of times what I will do, 
because I like my bows to be open like, like that and they don't always stay open like that. So what I'll do is I will sh shove this nozzle of my glue in there and do a little bit of glue, pull it, and then you just set it off to the side and it'll be done in a minute. Okay, do we want to put this over here? I kinda do, I do, I wanna put that over there. So we have this, this, this is just open there. I do feel like we need to do something there. I'm sure I have more of that paper. I have stuff. So we need kind of that, we need something gold. I could do something gold. If we can't find gold, I need real gold, not. Okay, so we are going to do something different. We are gonna get our gold paint. Okay, I have two kinds of gold paint. Um, this is fancy, it's thicker, it's from Joann's. I have no idea what it's called and I got it on clearance and it's like my special paint. And then I have, um, what do you call it? Pouring paint. So what we're gonna do over here is tart this masking tape up with gold because that's the binding that's what made the signature of this book and we're going to come now we're going to come a little bit outside of it because i'm kind of a wonky painter and we are going to make this a feature Anytime I have something weird, I just paint it something fancy. And um, and suddenly it seems like it's okay. To me at least, and that's all that matters, right? Like other people might look at it and go, why is there a gold line there? And I'm like, artistic expression. Oh, and there was a piece of tape. <laughs> I cracked me up. And I have bad news for you guys. I hardly ever craft in the morning. Usually I do my job, which is marketing um, my stuff in the morning. But today I did it in the morning. And the bad news is that the um, yard guys are here. So you know how usually there's a lot of um, barking and folder all going on? That will be happening again today. Hi, honey, you wanna come in here? Okay, so we got some in there. Now I feel like if I move it around to up here, what is this big white thing? Oh, I knew it wasn't. I knew I didn't have a big, huge white thing. All right, let's do this. Kind of make this a squarish. over here we'll paint this tape because I was gonna do a video about using up um, tape you don't like but then I got all excited and made art so I forgot to finish it would have been good you would have liked it okay I feel like I want this to come across maybe skinnier Ooh, we can make a line. There we go. That's cute. I think that helped, don't you? Boy, the uh, paint stuck a lot better on the tape than it did anywhere else. Okay, let's see. Kind of want to just get the edges of that. Oh, now it looks like it's on purpose. Love that. Okay, good. Do we want to... I have a thing, but I don't know how to use it yet. We're gonna try it, even though I don't know how to use it. Do you wanna try it? Or do you want me, or do you wanna wait until I know what the hell I'm doing? You pick. Wait till I know what I'm doing, or try it. We're gonna try. 
I heard that one girl way in the back who said, yeah, try it. You enabler. Okay, so I got from scrapbook.com this free foil because I ordered something. Oh, I am, oh no, I paid for this foil. I got different free foil, I think, maybe, I don't know. Um, anyways, so I have this new tool and it is a foil thingy. That's the official word. Uh, heat activated foil sheets. They're for, um, before this thing, uh, quill pen, quill, quill, quill pen. Um, and they only had um, USB ports. And I can't have more stuff on my table. I am at the max of electronic things that I can manage. I love my Cricut, Joy but I can't have something else. So then when I heard that they had a um, standalone one, I was like, count me in. And so I bought it and I saw a trick. So we're gonna try a trick. So I'm gonna push the button. I think that makes it get warm. We're gonna hope it makes it get warm. And we are gonna get a stampy thing circles and we are going to stamp with our black we are going to stamp with our archival or i think any ink would work but i'm going to stamp with archival like this and that kind of gives you the outline of what you're going to do and now i think this might be getting warm oh it's getting warm Okay, so now we're gonna do, and I'm just gonna kinda do it where I see it. I'm not gonna try to make it perfect. Oh, you could doodle. See, I'm more of a doodler than a colorer. All right, I think you can hear the yard guys. They're here. And they're fine for the doggies until they get over to the um, door. They do the, the leaf blower thing on the door. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks cute and it's shiny. All right, you know what we're gonna do too? Let's push it again. I'm gonna come up here. Sign my work. Just looks like scribbles, but that's fine. Let's see, we could say Tara L. Jacobson is an art goddess. So you can't really read it. It's just scribbles, but we all know what it says. I love this tool. That's what I want. So it's just all like fancy scribbling. All right, here we go. Let's do this. And we know it's just inside here. We're gonna do scritchy line across our gold. <laughs> I'm adding this to everything. You know that's gonna happen. Right. Oh my goodness. Now I feel like I need a scritchy line across my gold that's top here. This is gonna be my jam. And I don't know if you can see it real well, but it is super shiny cool. All right, I'm, I am very pleased with it. I'm glad you made me try it. Because this is one of those things that honestly you could sit around and go, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I know how to do it well enough yet to teach somebody else and blah, 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 blah. Because I get nervous too when I'm trying something new. So I'm going to put this back in here. This is, these are going to live in here. I am pretty good at keeping my stuff organized, I have to say. 
and we're gonna put those right there and we're gonna put the pen right there. And there's another part of the pen that I've already lost. <laughs> As I say how good I am at keeping my things organized. Okay, here's another part of it. Oh, there it is. All right, the other part of the pen I'm gonna put in this drawer. If I can't find it later, you tell me it's in the drawer, okay? Okay, all right. So now let's, no, this isn't this one. This is this one. Whew, that was a lot of fun. Okay, so we're back to, oh, do we want purple? Let's do purple. Do we have purple? Oh, purple I bet is over here. Yep, purple is Wendy Vecchi. So this time we're gonna do purple around here. Look at how cute this is. I know I made these, but look, there's a little stamp on there already. I don't have to do all the work when I'm being lazy. Okay, that's cute. Ooh, I feel like it needs a little something something. Let's do something. Where's that good stamp? There it is. It's amazing how often I can find my things. Let's do a little bit of scripty purple too to pull that in. Oh, there we go. That's what it needed. Look at that. That well, you wouldn't think it would make that much difference, would you? But it does. A little scripty purple. All right. And these are archival, so they will not move around when I do stuff on them. Archival means that it's permanent. Um, the little square ones are water movie. I can't have water movie because I'm a beast at my arch. Okay, I think it needs to go over the, oh, look at how much nicer that looks now. I'm just I'm just such a good artist. No, I'm just so excited. Hi, honey, are you here? Oh, you're here. Okay, I almost don't wanna stick that part down. So let's see if we can do this and not stick that part down, right? And we'll come back to this one. Kitty's here. She likes to sit on my shoulder while we arch. What do we got? Oh, this is the background. Wonderful. Okay, so we have this one. We have this one. I thought we had one more with this one. Did I just stick it down to something else? All right, so I painted the back. I smudged the back of this onto here. I know. I know. It's very sad. What were we going to do? Oh, my God. Do you want to try that thing again? Let's do it. Hold on, Kiki. you got to go down. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kiki. you got to go down. All right, so where is that? Yeah, you just not. Honey, you know what she wants? She wants second breakfast. I'm going to go feed the cat. I'll be back. Okay, so this came with a little roll of gold. Look at how tiny these things are. These are like itty bitty things. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this roll of gold. We're going to take like say that much and it wasn't very expensive to get i got it at scrapbook.com i think you can buy i know you can buy it at michael's i've seen it at michael's so what we're gonna do now maybe there's some wet paint that'll stick it on <laughs> okay we're gonna do this and we're gonna get our thing back and we're gonna push the button at the end it has batteries in there and we're gonna give it a wee minute. Okay, and all I did was put this under the stencil and now I'm kind of drawing a little bit in the stencil and then scribbling across. So you could do all yours up and down, you could do them sideways, but it's gonna have the stencil design and I'm gonna make it not every one. I don't know here if you can hear the leaf blowers. This is why Oh, look, it's on there. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Now you can kind of do this with a mink, which is Heidi Swap's thing. But the problem for me is um, with that, you have to kind of take it all out and you have to 
pull out everything and you have to, oh, you have to print it. And for me, this is just an amazing little way to add some gold highlighty things in here. Gosh, I'm sort of in love. Don't get too excited. I get, I fall in love really easy with craft supplies. Oh my gosh. I do. I just think I'm going to use this a ton. Doggies, I will be right back. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a lovely gold circly sheen to this. The yard guys are leaving. Now don't get it too excited because those guys leave and then the bluey guys come. But that's okay. So we're going to do what I'm going to do with this because I have gold is we are going to just go around the edge with a little gold paint because gold makes everything nice. And I had the gold already out and I'm not trying to cover up that um, tape this time. I'm just trying to make a um, an outline. And this envelope is a little weird because it's, um, you know, there's lines and stuff. So you could do, just pull some of it in. I think I'll do that. Make that look cute. Make that look cute. Okay. There we go. I love that. That's fun. Okay, now we have to figure out which is which side is up. Because this journal definitely has an upside and a downside now. See? You can't see that. This is from the Halloween guys. But he's got to be right side up. Okay. There we go. Let's put this in the paint water. And we're going to start working on these guys. So how do we want them? Oh, we were going to put that sticking out the top, and that's why I made it that way. Okay. So I kind of feel like this one needs to be on the top. And I'm going to do... I don't want to go overboard on the gold. I mean, I know you can't go overboard on the gold, but let's do... Let's find a pretty color. What about that color? Can we do... Actually, I need a little darker. Can we do green around it when we want to do green? Let's try green. This is uh, fern green. I don't have my old lady glasses on today, so I have trouble seeing what everything is. Oh yeah, that's just enough to put a little hint around that. I like it. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna glue this down with a little sticky uppy top. And I just left this too long. It got a skin, we'll take the skin off. This is Nouveau glue, and it is my favorite kind of glue because every tiny once in a while I leave it open too long um, or in a weird way and like a water air bubble gets in there. But it always comes out where lots of the other ones don't. And I cannot be bothered to manage my glue. It has to know how to manage itself. Okay, there we go. There we go. So that's cute. And then I think I want this guy to be on top and this guy to be on bottom, like that. Like this. Okay, so we're going a little bit over the bend. Oh, we gotta do something. Are we doing green on all of them? Let's just do green on all of them. And then we can do other stuff later. But we're just getting a little color. Okay, so let's talk about orphans now. I talk about this sometimes. So if I were to put these things on the page this way, it's okay. Like that could be a look you're going for. But if you're trying to do mixed media and you overlap them, all of a sudden, instead of having, you know, like different pieces, now all of a sudden you have a kind of a hole that you're like, not a hole, H-O-L-E, no. Not a whole H, yeah, not a whole H-O-L-E, a whole W-H-O-L-E for my international watchers. Sorry, guys, about English. There's nothing I can do. Um, you have something complete 
that you're um, working on rather than just disparate pieces around your art canvas, right? Whatever your canvas is. And my canvas today is an envelope or some tags. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm feeling like this video is getting long. All right. There we go. If I need to, I'll break it into two parts because I am going to emboss the crap out of this. Actually, I probably will do the embossing on a different video. Oh, where'd this go? All right. Let's see where we are. Okay, so this is here. Let's find our baby tag. Oh, God. Why is he so bright? <laughs> Let's get our green back and fix the baby. Okay, I'm using archival peeled paint this time. Uh, Tim's stuff is grungier than um, Vicky Wendy Vecchi's. I tend to like grunge here. Okay, there we go. There we go. That should be stuck pretty good because it's got the glue in the back there. Okay, 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 okay. Where'd it go? All right, and this should go in there. Let's make sure this opens. There we go. All right, so that little tag can stick up in there. That's super cute. So this one is done except for embossing. I love it. Little, little pink shinies. This one is done except for embossing. So cute. And let's finish this one up. We have to figure out what we're going to do with this because I love this tag and I feel like it goes with this design. I feel it. Oh, look how right there. Ooh, and then I think we need to, you know what? I actually like the black. Let's go with black this time and I will probably do that with Posca paint pens. So this is going to have, a, oh, we got to do our edges. Let's do a teal. Oh my gosh, we have the prettiest teal. This may be my favorite teal, Blue Lagoon, Mermaid Lagoon. Okay, look how pretty that is. Look, there's a little stamp on there. Whoever made these made them so cute. Okay, it was me. It was me and I love it. Okay, I love that. We are going to be done with this for today. With this for today, and we're going to glue this tag on, and we're going to be done with this for today. Woo, that was fun, huh? I figure we're pushing an hour at least now. We probably need to make the embossing part on a different video. Okay, so we have... Butterfly tag with sticky outie. Cute one with a pocket. I just cut this out. This is the top. This is the bottom. Made a pocket. And this is just three tags on a card. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.